Hey guys, what's going on? I've uh, been very busy running behind here on YouTube, but this is my new creation when I've got time. This is my Huna 550 excavator. I have upgraded everything in it and did a few modifications of my own, which makes it a very powerful excavator right now. Uh, I turned it into the Hitachi 250 excavator. This is a log grabber excavator. Um, it's pretty sweet, so let's get into detail what I did real quick. This is just a show video, but what, I will get a run video here. I've got something really wicked to open up. I think it's worth an unboxing. We'll get to maybe next day or so. So let's start off, as you can see, with the paint. And the paint was really tricky to do. I did a couple under layers of silver, some white in there um, to get this orange-red color that the Hitachi's got. Then I kind of... Um, painted the color scheme of what I saw online as far as the Tachis with the cab. I took the glass out of here, put the little dude in there, which is not a brooder guy actually, I like these little guys a little bit better. Got a little more muscle on them, more in construction looking dude. But anyway, I put him inside there. I took the glass out because it keeps the glare off. One of the reasons why is I also added a monitoring in here, like a monitor that turns in glow yellow as you would be running at night when I'll flip the switch for you guys. I also, I also designed a, a roll cage system that goes up and over, and then it also goes to the back, and it goes to the inner window there. That It protects um, debris, as you say, as safety visual looks. Um, the tracks. I sprayed the tracks with a, a brown. Um, I frosted them with the brown, frosted them with the silver, frosted them with the black flat black to get this looks more of a beat up look so it blends in better i was going to run some brooder tracks on this some brooder wheels but i decided to hold off for now because i've got an, um, a conversion going on on a brooder excavator as well i uh, did a lot of modifications up here um, to get these servo drives did a lot of reversing um, of some wiring inside there on the back here on the inside, I just did regular paint. You know, I added some detail, of course. But that's my RC way. A little extra bling in there. Uh, my pipe, I think, is kind of cool. If I could get in there on my pipe, I kind of frosted it the same colors to make it look like an old rusty up pipe. Um, the Hitachi's on the back. 250's on the side. I'll probably throw in a couple more other logos on here, as you can see. There's that window that comes in and around the cage on the back. But this thing, as far as power, I don't know. <laughs> Five times as strong is what it was. I also put uh, seven more ounces approximately of weight in the back end, up under the stock weights. Uh, I just used wheel, wheel weights from Harbor Freight to get that going. And I just stuck them on the inside along there in clearing. Um, I did rewire the circuit board with stronger wires. Uh, I did remove the sound system and I'm using that switch as far as my lights, which are in the cab and there, as you see. And what I'll do is um, I'll get to that here in a second and show you that, how it works. But stay tuned, guys. I got this one. I'll fire up, but there's something super cool I'm pumped about. I won't open yet, but I will probably this evening. And I still have yet to do my grand hauler. But uh, appreciate, guys, and check the night system on us out how the controller works um, this is your main boom up main boom down this is secondary boom going up and going down before they had it the other way around from the factory as far as the end of the boom which would be your dump your scoop or your claw or your grabber or whatever you got on there because all my excavators I want to set up the same so the kids can run them real easily this would be open and down would be closed same way as you dump a load or a scoop a load uh, there again that way it's self-explanatory every button going up is up every button going down is down and then you got your tracks you know here and stuff like that but right now I'm going to sh show you how the lights are turned on the lights are just two five millimeter bulbs that are wired in and replacing the light that went on down inside the original uh, right where that hole is an original spot of the console 
or, and it did pretty much nothing. The light is cool itself, which I'll show you at the end of the video, but it does nothing for the guy inside. So that's why I put that little deck, that little lamp in there. So it kind of beams on that green light. This green shirt really sh shows off here. But uh, let's get in here and show you what's going on. Let's see what I'm doing. All right, there's the lights are coming off. And anyway, I want to hit hit this it will follow and as far as this guy it's it's showing off a um, pretty high maybe glare right now because of the camera but it's not as bright as it might look but it actually looks pretty cool through there when you see him from a distance at night you can see the guy real cool and he comes around a little bit better like that you can see a shirt glow through and that's pretty much what you got in the whole uh, when you see him in real life but on camera it's look like it's more of a reflection coming off his chest but uh you can see this on how it looks from this side too coming through you can see him glowing a little bit and coming down and put lights back on and let me give a little show here Alright guys, thanks for watching. That's Marcy and stay tuned for the next video which will probably be aired tomorrow. It's a quick shot at my cab cage. These are some rivets I had made up along with some uh, servo armor that kind of went over and around that servo and same way on the bottom. And this is that cool little light. Let's see if we get this thing going here in the dark. What I think is cool about it is the fact that We'll just stick it straight in there. Turn the light off. It's one light, but it shines two colors. As you can see, the glare on the the camera, just like you would a cab of the truck right now. But thanks a lot for watching. That's Marcy.